Good morning. Today is Monday, October the 5th, 2020. Um, over the next two weeks, we are going to learn the story of Abraham from the book of Genesis. His name was Abram before God changed it to Abraham. His wife was called Sarah. In today's readings, we learn of Abraham's ancestors as they travel from Ur to the land of Canaan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Now these are the descendants of Terah. Terah was the father of Abram. Nahor and Haran and Haran was the father of Lot. Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his birth in Ur of the Chaldeans. Abram and Nahor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarah. The name of Nahor's wife was Milcah. Now Sarah was barren. She had no child. And Terah took his son Abram and his grandson Lot to Haran and his daughter-in-law, Sarah, his son Abram's wife. And they went together from Ur of the Chaldeans to go into the land of Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. The days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. The word of the Lord. Now let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others, for our family, our neighbors, our friends in the world, as we say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now please join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, boys and girls, we have some birthdays over the weekend. We celebrated Nora Osborne's birthday in 3D. And then today we have Ian Edwards in 1A, James Glover in 5C, and Connor Rhodes in 3D. Happy birthday, everyone. And I have a report from Coach Mack about sports. Our Catholic Firecrackers football team continues the quest to defend their title. This past Tuesday, our Firecrackers, led, our C by, led by our CTK Bears, took on the Dunbar Bobcats. The hungry, hungry inner bear chomped up four onside kick recoveries, leading to five touchdowns and five extra points, beating the Bobcats 35 to 20. Our firecrackers moved to three and one and will feast on the Henderson Hawks next Tuesday. Mm-mm, finger licking good. It was back and forth fight to the end, but our new Catholic fire football team, also led by several CTK Bears, clawed their way to a win against the Episcopal Wildcats, 14 to 12. The only thing better than a bobcat leg is a wildcat toe. Mmm, dessert was yummy. The firecrack, the Catholic firecrackers took take on the Baptist Prep Eagles this coming Saturday. Go Catholic Fire. Finally, our Mountie Girls volleyball team went two and two this week, spiking their way past the Dunbar Bobcats and the Cloverdale Cubs. The seventh grade moves to five and one, and the Mounties eighth grade to six to one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.